Google AdWords works by making your ads appear when potential customers are searching online for information related to your business. The words and phrases they use when searching online, also called keywords, are what cause your ads to appear. You get to pick the keywords that you want to use for your business. For best results, these keywords should be related to the products or services that you want to advertise in your ad. The more relevant and specific your keywords are to what someone may search for on Google, the more likely your ad would be interesting to potential customers. So how do you choose good keywords and which keywords are right for your business? Here are three simple tips for selecting the right keywords. Tip 1. Use keywords that are two to three words long. Keywords can be made up of one word or can be a phrase, that is, a combination of words. The words that you select for your keywords shouldn't be too generic or too specific. To figure out what the right balance is for your products or services, start by thinking like your customer. Let's assume you're selling yoga gear. What would potential customers who are looking for a new yoga outfit be looking for? Yoga may seem like an appropriate keyword, but think of all the word combinations your ad may appear for such as yoga positions, yoga clothes, yoga video, yoga for beginners, or yoga class. It's most likely that not all of these keywords apply to your business. Or, on the other hand, woman's plus-size pink yoga pants may be too specific. How about women yoga clothes, stylish yoga clothes, or plus-size yoga clothes? These keywords may not be too generic or specific. They could be just right. Tip 2. Use negative keywords. In addition to letting you pick which words and phrases you want your ad to appear for, AdWords also lets you pick negative keywords, which exclude word combinations that don't relate to your business. Think about our yoga clothes example. Let's assume you only sell high-end yoga clothes. In that case, you wouldn't want your ad to appear or get clicked on when someone searches for cheap yoga clothes or discount yoga clothes. So you would add cheap and discount as negative keywords. Or let's say you don't sell organic yoga clothes. Then you would add the negative keyword organic to ensure that your ad doesn't show to people who are only interested in organic yoga clothes. By giving you control over when your ad doesn't show, you can fine-tune who sees or doesn't see your ad, which can help you control your cost. Last but not least, tip 3. Use the keyword tool. When it comes to creating lists of keywords for your ads, you can probably think of quite a few on your own, based on your own experience. But if your keyword lists don't include all of the words your customers use to find your products and services, you may miss sales opportunities. To get a little help with finding all the right keywords, Google provides you with a free and easy-to-use tool, the Keyword Tool. You can access the tool under the Reporting and Tools section of your account. The Keyword Tool helps you discover new keywords as well as potential negative keywords, i.e. the words that you don't want your ad to appear for. You simply type a word or phrase related to your product or service into the tool and it will suggest words and phrases to add to your keyword list. So, let's recap. Tip 1. Choose keywords that are two to three words long. Striking a balance between too generic and too specific can help you attract the right people to your site. Tip 2. Save money and have the right customers find your site by adding negative keywords. Tip 3. Discover new keyword ideas from the keyword tool. With these three simple tips, you can start building keyword lists that could help you get your business more attention and customers.